while people are waiting in there to burn, I'm gonna we're gonna set up somewhere here, and you guys gonna watch. In Native American culture, and their their understanding how they communicate to the natural world. It's a trilogy, flute, drum, and rattle. The drum represents the earth. It represents what's below us. It represents the heartbeat of Mother Earth. It represents the mother. You know, as a child, the first thing we hear is our mother's heart. Then you come out into the world. The rattles represent the Middle Earth, four kingdoms, plant, tree, animal, and insect. So rattles are made from those four those four kind of elements. And then the flutes represent the upper world. You know, what's above us, what's surrounding us. This air, we share this breath. We can't see it, but it's there. Try to disconnect from it, pretty soon you're connecting yourself back again. You can only hold your breath so long. You really see it when you see a child come into the world. The first breath you take when you enter the world, like your soul enters you. So the flute is like that. It's like, um, it's part of what we take within ourselves, we put through the instrument, it comes out, becomes part of the universe. And so, it's the voice of your soul, because it comes from within. The difference between Western music, or European music, and native, or the native styles, and the European style music, it's like your mind is present. And in native style, it's more like just feeling. Your mind's quiet. You're not thinking of anything. You're just playing how you feel. So in native style flute playing, I always encourage people play the moment. Play how you are at the moment. If you need sheet music, then look at children. Watch them play. Play that. Play what you see. You know, look at mountains. Look at a go out in a meadow. What do you feel there? Play that. Look at the trees. It's a way for, for humans to communicate. So that trying, that flute, drum, and rattle, what I was talking about earlier, is a way we pray to creation. Because we're involving the world below us, the middle world, and the upper world. None of, it, none of these instruments work without one thing, the human element. I think Native American flute and also this kind of type uh, flute is very easy to play. Really easy to play, just even feeling. You know, just now why? Why are you feeling or why are you now inspired from something? So just very easy to your feeling, direct. So I love Native American type flute. Very easy to. Now you are feeling the wind. Just you are like kind of melt in the wind. I think nature sound is really like uh, always be, is always now. So now is very important for the music. So uh, sometimes, like uh, improvise music, or play some some people, and the feeling is just now, just now, 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 now. It's great. It's like like forever feeling is like just. Nothing. Mm. It's this is beautiful. Yeah. I feel. Yeah. And uh, people thinking is maybe water sound is always like ah just water sound, but no, different. 
water sounds always changing, changing, changing. Like a song. You know, and also wind. The people thinking the wind is just oh no wind coming. But wind is no sound. Wind is always leaf, tree leaf is like you know, this kind of sound is so many. Different leaf is like it's it's so beautiful. really works well this instrument because it's uh, just like a little bagpipe you keep a drone going uh, and then then you can play melodies and improvise happily uh, <coughs> on, on top so I just do a little improvisation to thank Guillermo and um, and Dominic for showing me this instrument <laughs> So my name's Adrian, Adrian Friedman, and I play the shakuhachi, which is a Japanese bamboo flute, which is a very special instrument. But the sound itself, which is coming out of the bamboo flute, it comes from the breath. And so it leads to an inquiry or a study, a contemplation on the nature of breath and how we're breathing and where the breath comes from. The breath comes from spirit, and so it leads to a deeper awareness or contemplation onto the nature of spirit. And this can lead to other deeper questions, um, the nature of being, the nature of awareness. And all these uh, different aspects of sound, breath and awareness start to kind of unfold and inform each other in, in a, a sort of continually expanding journey which the music we play is the, the outward manifestation and yet can always be traced back to deeper roots. <laughs> 